Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi everybody, in today's video I thought I'd share with you the way that I make my YouTube videos, well most of them anyway, you'll know if you've seen my, any of my other videos on my stream that I'm a bit of a YouTube junkie, I love uploading videos, I love recording videos um, using uh, a webcam, my 600D uh, Canon DSLR Rebel T3i or um, used to be old compact cameras and bridge cameras um, but it's always a challenge to find something to edit them um, I used to be a big fan of Adobe Premiere Elements excuse me two or three I think I used to use um, but that's not compatible with Windows 8 which I use on my new laptop and so I hunted down or had to hunt down a cheap alternative and I ended up going to Windows Movie Maker um, which isn't on this page it's on uh, this page here now it's it's I understand that its official title is the 2012 version of Windows Movie Maker because Movie Maker has been around for a long long time um, and it comes as part of the uh, or you can download it as part of the I think it's the Windows Essentials collection I think um, you'll need to be running either Windows 7 or Windows 8 um, just do a Google for Windows Movie Maker and I think you know, one of the first or the second results is, is the screen to download it. Um, and after trying Movie Maker out uh, I found that it's an incredibly easy to use, um, it's free <laughs> which is great and it can encode um, HD 1080p uh, videos which is what you know I, I like to record for YouTube pretty damn fast as well um, which is uh, which is great so what I thought we'd do is just run through kind of a, a little little kind of mini uh, edit uh, using uh, three simple clips to give you you know a flavor of what Movie Maker is is all about and show you how easy it is is to use it so once you've downloaded and installed Movie Maker you'll kind of see this screen here um, a movie maker is kind of split into the preview screen which is this big black window here where our things will come up and then our timeline with our with our films in will appear over here so to get started just navigate yourself your way to the folder where the clips are and then all you do is you just drag them over the movie maker icon drop them in if it's a long clip um, it may well take a couple of minutes to render it so it's suitable for using with movie maker here we go so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull in three clips just as like kind of like an example um, of what you might be doing with like a YouTube video or an interview or a podcast or I don't know something like that didn't mean to open that one let's drop that all in so there we go we've got our three clips now something to avoid <laughs> is the auto movie themes up here um, and you can apply a theme to your movie, but I would say leave them alone. You don't need them. Just keep it nice and plain and simple. Um, so, so we've got we've got our three clips. As you can see, they've gone in order. If we wanted to, we could we could move them around on the timeline. And if we go into the view button, you can see I've asked to see the waveforms. Um, not so useful in this particular little film we're going to be making because it's just background noise. In fact, if I play it, you probably just you might be able to hear that. Um, but it shows me that the audio is there and it has been has been recorded so let's go back to the home button so avoid the auto movie themes you don't need them um, but let's start off I don't know, let's start off with uh, I guess the real basic so you've 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 loaded your your uh, clips up and you think well actually I want to trim a little bit off the front of this first clip so how do you do that well to kind of control things you've got this line that you drag backwards and forwards and you drag that to where you want it to be then play the clip pause it where you want to, to the break to be and then maybe fine-tune it and what you do is you go to the edit button and the key to understanding how things work in Movie Maker and lots of video applications in general is the fact that you might start off with say three clips but in order to kind of work with them and to um, manipulate them, you, you, you chop them up into smaller clips. And you do, do this with the split button that you can see here. So I just hit split and that is now in two bits. So I can delete one of them, should I wish. 
um, I could independently work on the audio. Let's say we wanted to get rid of the audio on this one. I could then go over to video volume, turn the volume down, and then what you should hear is if I move this timeline on a bit, we should have noise, then silence. So we could do that. But as we said, what we were doing is we wanted to trim this clip. So all I do is I select that one, hit the delete key on my button, and lo and behold, we've shortened that. The other common thing would be to um, get rid of something on the end as well. So again, we've gone to the end, gone to the last clip. We would have a look at it. You know, we could go backwards and forwards, say that's where we want it to be. Hit the split button. That clip is then split into two. Select the right hand one, hit delete. And then uh, we've done that. So we've taken some off the front, we've taken one off the back. We could even go into this clip, split that up and do the same thing. But these are, you know, are the basic things you would want to do. The next thing you may want to want to do is you may well want to add a transition. So at the moment, if we see how it swaps between these two clips, if we just hit the play, it goes dunk. It's just like a like a jump edit, I think they call that. It just jumps from straight from one to the other. Not very pretty. So what we can do, if we go to the home tab up here, what we can see, no you don't, we want to go to the animations tab. We've got all these amazing animations that we can use to, to, to change between one scene and the other. You know, they're all, aren't they pretty? Aren't they great? But they're all a bit much. I would just say go down one and there's two I would either use. I would use the kind of fade through a blur or blur to black like that. So what we'll do, or for this first clip, what you do is you select the second clip that you're changing into and we'll do a blur to black and then we'll select the last clip and we'll do go down one, do a blur through white. So let's go back, let's see what that looks like. So let's just put the timeline to there. So it's a blur through black. Let's go on to this one. And that's just a straight transition with a blur. Nice and easy. So we've loaded the, the uh, clips up, we've showed, I've showed you how you can trim them, and I've showed you how you can um, add a nice little transition. What would be next? A title, I guess, would it? So let's hit the home button, and let you see in the middle here it says title. So we click on title. Now, this is where I do uh, use, look at the presets, and there's all sorts of fancy ones you can use. And again, if you just hold your mouse over these uh, presets, it will show you what they do. I don't know, things like this. And there's, there's loads of different ones. You know, and just pick the one that you really like. The one I like, I don't know, for some reason, I just like this one. It's got a bit of lens flare, and it's got this animation left hand side. So I press that one, and then the text comes up. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the size of the font. Now, you can't have different size fonts on the same title. Um, so you can change the style of the font and you can change the size, but that's it. So if we said, um, let's click on here and put, this is my test movie. And then I can then grab it. I can move it around, manipulate it that way, change the uh, justification of the text change the size of the font you know but I can't have different sizes on the same screen so it's nice and simple and then if I want to just preview how it looks hit the play button and that's how it looks nice and easy then it's going to transition into that one so we've got a title what else would you want credits so to put the credits in and remember you, you can add a title in between each individual clip so when we want to add credits we click on the last clip click on the credits button like that and again then we can choose what style we want and just by holding our mouse over the thing we can see <laughs> all these amazing different ways that we can add credits do personally just a nice simple one and again we can go in and we can change the text and put these are the credits that looks a bit small so let's ramp up the size I don't like the way it wraps around so let's just grab that corner Oop. just double click in the box to make it appear and then again to see how it looks again we hit the play button we can pre preview that nice and simple and let's just move our timeline to see how it goes into that 
these are the credits we might want a nice transition there I think don't we so let's go to animations let's put a nice blur into that one in fact let's put a blur in on this one as well just so we've got a nice transition into the titles let's see what it looks like Oh, that's better, isn't it? Now, remember, whenever you have uh, transitions like blurs and fades from one thing to the other, the sound does uh, kind of overdub each each bit. So if you've got any talking or any music, make sure there's enough um, elbow room at the end and the beginning of each clip so they don't start so you don't start talking over yourself if you, if you're doing them you'll see what I mean when you do it wrong because one of them will start fading out and then the other one will fade in at the same time so you need that little bit of a gap so we're almost there now one of the things you want to be doing as we go along you want to be doing file save project as and that will save it in the window movie makers project um, uh, format now what I would say is when you save the project and say you know this is a test put it in a folder but call it project as well so you know that that's the Windows Movie Maker file format and not um, the mp4 format or the format you decide to upload it to YouTube um, and I always have project at the end of all of those I'm not going to save this I'm just going to say cancel so we've got a title we've got credits we've trimmed our clips um, we've adjusted the sound on a clip, we've added transitions on a clip. Um, another thing you probably want to do is you want to, might want to add a caption on a clip. So say with this one here, let's first off, let's get rid of the noise. So let's go to, to get rid of the sound. So let's go to edit and let's click on video volume and take it all the way down. So for that particular clip, there will be no volume now. In fact, if I play it, you should see there's no volume now at all on that clip. Right from the beginning of the clip. No volume at all. But we want to add a caption. So we're just going to go to uh, home, click on caption, and you see the captions appeared here. And now we can choose the size of the font. We could choose the color of the font. Uh, let's do it on a red. Let's just so put this oh, don't want the bracket do we this is a caption in fact that colour's a bit crap in it red doesn't show up very well let's do it black this is a caption let's make it bold let's make it bigger so it shows up more 36 let's move it and then what you see here is the text the duration of it so let's say make it come up on the screen for I don't know 10 seconds so now oh, we might want to move it a little bit actually let's move it so it's right at the beginning of the clip so now if we go back up to here so we'll see the end of the second clip and then we'll transition and you should see the caption appear there we go this is a caption Woo! <laughs> how easy is that fantastic other things you can do as well is you can if you say it says record narration you can add sound so you could replace the soundtrack of, of what you were doing say you've recorded something separately it's a little bit tricky to line things up it's not as easy as it is with Photoshop uh, sorry with Premiere Elements but it can be done I've done it a couple of times um, you can add music as well but I don't know if you can add that on top I've never bothered doing that because of the simple YouTube videos I don't want to but I'm pretty sure we've kind of covered most of the bases we've now got our simple movie we've got the titles um, and then we've got a little transition we've edited the uh, videos we've you know we, we've uh, chopped the beginnings and ends off um, we've played around with the sounds we've added captions and we've um, added a uh, titles at the end so all that really means all that really is left to do is just to save it out and all you got to do ignore all this stuff about Facebook and YouTube and Flickr I, it doesn't always work I found so you're better off just saving it out and then uploading it within the web app or within an uploader program whichever one you so just go file save movie and then it gives you all these settings that you could use should you wish now we're I must admit we're pretty lucky here we've got a fast broadband connection so I just say recommended for a project Oop, didn't mean to do that file here we go file 
Save movie recommended for project. Come on. If I can get it right. And it tells me that the recommended for this project is 1920 by 1080, so it's HD, 24.13 megabits a second, and it's going to be 175 megabytes per minute of video. Now, I always go for the highest quality because, again, I've got plenty of hard drive space on my computer and we've got plenty of bandwidth to upload it. If you were struggling for both of those, you may well just go down and say, well, YouTube, that's 1920 by 1080, so it's still HD, but it's only... Uh, 5.19 megabits a second which is 37 megabytes per minute of video so that would give you a much smaller file to upload but I would say if you can go with the big um, YouTube especially if you're using the Chrome browser is very very good at uploading large files and you know and if you stop halfway through it doesn't matter it will regain it um, but I would say go for the biggest size just go for recommended save it out and then upload it to YouTube afterwards right so there we go um, that's how you can use Windows Movie Maker 2012 version to make really simple videos, um, nice and effective, nice and easy, easy to edit, easy to chop, easy to change the sound, easy to add titles, captions and credits. And it encodes to um, 1080p really well and uh, nice and fast. Remember, if you've got any questions, email me. My name's Rob from robnonphoto.com. You can email me at scalespeeder at gmail.com. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. You'll see the button somewhere on the screen. And I think there might even be a like button somewhere on there as well. Um, but I just hope uh, this has uh, encouraged you to have a go at recording and editing and uploading some more videos to YouTube. And uh, I think that's enough from me. <laughs> I'm off to record another video. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on YouTube.